Hi children, welcome to Eclid Learning. So this is uh, the third video for chapter four of grade eight. So if you haven't watched my previous videos, I have done separate videos for grade six and seven. And for grade eight, I have done separate videos for first uh, four chapters. So this is the third video for the fourth chapter, right? So here we talk, we are going to talk about applications for mobile and smart devices. This will be a very short video. So uh, there are uh, so many devices. So when it comes to mobile and smart devices, uh, there are so many applications available uh, for them uh, to make uh, our tasks very uh, accurate. So uh, as they have shown you here, there are laptops, smartphones, smart cameras, smart TVs, drone cameras, tablets, smartwatch. So there are so many uh, different kind of applications. And uh, when it comes to tablets and laptops, they are usually uh, for general purpose. Uh, but when it comes to other devices like smart sunglasses, drone cameras, they have some kind of a specific or intended uh, purpose uh, to be achieved from them, right? So a laptop, you know, laptop means a portable computer, right? So it's a mobile device, but can do general computer applications uh, like the desktop, right? And then comes the tablet. Tablet is some kind of a, something similar like a phone, but bit bigger. So usually surfing internet, taking photographs, those things can be done. And then comes a smart mobile phone. I think everybody has seen it. Uh, so this is basically a telephone uh, kind of thing. So telephone conversations, SMS, MMS, um, you can take photos, you can record, you can watch uh, videos and all these things. You can send emails, you can surfing internet so so many things can be done from a smartphone so then comes the smart tele television right so smart tvs so uh television programs watching that is the basic thing other than that you can manage recording tele tv programs you can do email internet uh you can directly uh, like youtube you can watch uh, youtube uh, from the smart tv directly right so smart camera yeah camera is to take photographs in addition uh, you can uh, record audio video clips sending them and sharing them to other devices can be done from the camera itself and comes the smart wristwatch uh, you can uh, look at look the time right other than that you can send sms uh, send alarms and you can even access internet, you can do synchronized uh, tasks from that kind of things. Then comes the mo mobile spectacles. So you can uh, watch uh, 3D format, right? Listen to audio, take photos, you can record. Those things can be done from the mobile spectacles. Drone cameras, normally drones are for uh, remotely controlling and you send it uh, over some place and you can take photos and uh, you can record those things can be done from a drone then comes the applications of mobile and smart devices right so there are so many applications available uh, some things are open source that means you can freely download but some things you have to purchase you have to pay the license right so after you purchase or you down after you download it you can just install it um, and use it, right? So here they have given some uh, different kind of applications which are specifically available kind of like uh, for mobile and smart devices. So compass, you know, it's to find directions and uh, you can, like the normal compass, you this from this device, you can find where is north, where is south, like that. And then you have a route map or some kind of like Google Maps, you can find uh, directions, you can find distance between few places using the GPS as well. And then comes the sky map, right? It's a very interesting application where you can point to a star or planet in the sky, but you should have good cameras and all for that. And then you can see the details of that particular uh, star or the planet, right? Then comes the QR code. 
so you may have heard about qr codes these days also because of corona uh, some uh, places are displaying this qr code and ask you to scan it and rec uh, record your attendance for that particular place so uh, so QR code is like uh, to scan and send information as well as you can also uh, scan some QR code and visit some websites and see their information. So basically to uh, pass information, we can use this QR codes. Language translators, yeah, you can translate language like uh, uh, from English to Sinhala or English to French like that. So then comes the online chess games not only chess there are so many games available uh, there are so many games available uh, for mobile devices then comes the single english dictionary right you know what is dictionary is for right you can find a uh, meaning of uh, different words and voice recorder is to record you can record your voice and playback and see like those things recording voice recording can be done using these devices so that is the end of the chapter very small uh, video for this uh, as i told you earlier uh, so summary is like in this um, chapter i have done three videos right so first video basically we were talking about uh, what is uh, about algorithms and what is input process data and output those things and uh, we talked about different kind of control structures like sequence selection repetition but repetition uh, in grade nine we'll be talking in detail and then uh, in algorithm right if, we, if, the, if you are following steps very sequential way that is a sequence method right selection means you should always have some condition and based on the condition you decide what to do right so if the condition is satisfied you will do one thing if condition is not satisfied you will do another thing right so in scratch we use these two blocks hope you remember and we had used different kind of uh, comparison blocks using scratch as well and these are the logical operators uh, in example we didn't do but uh, definitely you can do and see uh, so and is both conditions should be satisfied or means uh, either one condition can be satisfied to become to become the whole thing true or both should be uh, both conditions should be true then the whole result will be true not means always the if you have condition results to a true the full result will be false if the this condition is false the full result will be true right so the rep repetition will be discussing in later stages right so um, thank you very much uh, for watching this video so if you haven't still subscribe my channel please do subscribe and uh, press the bell notification as well and please do comment please comment uh, how we how my videos are and what are what are your problems and if you have any questions just ask so all the things i will be uh, looking into and i will be uh, replying back okay so thank you very much